Hi and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. In this video, we test the new version 7 of the answer. Pretty excited about that. They added a lot of profile for different features. So let's dive in right away. Pretty excited with this new version. Let's check out the footage looks right now. All right, this is um, recorded with the Canon R7 at C-Log3, and this is a 4K uh, footage, uh, 23 uh, frames a second. All right, so what you do, you go into colors and then make the effects appear and at the bottom we get the new version 7 drag it on your node and then you can colorize your footage uh, they did not add uh, my camera the r7 the r5 is there and others uh, but the good thing is um, they added at the bottom of the options check profiles here and this will download new stuff. So I'm guessing that they will add some more cameras over time. If you click on it, it checks for new film simulation, new cameras, and new print media. All right, but for now, we're gonna go back on top. I'm gonna choose a Cine on Film, which is um, a flat uh, format, but a bit more contrasty. Uh, so if I go into the film profiles, then there's all bunch of choices. And if you uh, let your cursor on it, you can scroll. And I'm gonna try to choose something a bit uh, natural. Yeah, maybe this one or... Yeah, this one looks good. And contrary to the older version, if you go down, not everything is activated on a get-go. There's a few, but not everything. And they added some profiles. So if you go into uh, film grain, you can choose what kind of tape you want to emulate. Okay, so ISO 500 and stuff like that. And of course you get the result right away. If we change it to another film grain, let's say eight millimeters, a lot different. And of course there's still um, the custom version. So you can customize whatever you want. Uh, usually I'm, I'm not liking very much noise, but if you want to put some, you can change the amount and still get some look, okay? And this goes for every uh, options, elation, bloom, the film damage, um, film breed, a gate weave, everything is with um, profiles. So if you are on a hurry, you can just choose everything you want, enable, 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 and then look at the result. It's a bit on the slow-mo because of the processing, but you get the ID, there's a bit of scratch and some noise. Of course, I did not um, do anything with the colors itself and uh, contrast and stuff like that, so we can um, treat them right away. I'm going to remove the noise for now, the film grain. And uh, what I like about this software is the film compression um, and what you can do right away, those spots that are maybe too contrasty or too white uh, are tamed. If I go back, you see, and I think the colors are, are looking better as well. And um, what we can do with the tonal range is reduce the tonal range to get something like this maybe and uh, this will 
uh, remove some peaks in the colors and in the contrast. And after that, of course, you want to retrieve some of uh, um, the contrast so you can use the expand uh, module with which has a black and a white point. So you can go... Yeah, the black are nice now, but we can boost the whites maybe like this. Let's look at it. That's not bad. So you can go into the film developer and adjust a bit of the image. Um, contrast boost, you see. Gamma correction. Uh, color, uh, color separation, what is this? Yeah, okay. And you can boost the colors a little bit, maybe not too much. The only thing that is missing uh, to get a complete uh, colorization would be maybe um, some sharpness. Uh, so usually what I'm going to do, I'm going to create another node and of course go here and then give it some uh, sharpness. All right. And if I deactivate it. See the difference? Of course, my camera did record soft, so it's not uh, the enhancer's problem. Uh, but it would be nice to add some sharpness in there somewhere. On the beta version, when we scrolled like this, uh, sometimes the software would crash, but now they fixed it. And actually, it's more powerful. It's faster to get the results than the older versions. All right. Version 7 is fantastic, a lot of changes, love the profiles and all the features, so it, you get faster to some of uh, maybe more authentic results. If you want to buy it, uh, don't forget to use the promo code in the description of this video and in the title of the video. Um, you get to pay less and I get a little kickback to the channel as well, so we're helping each other. Of course, if you want to ask any question, go in the description, put your question, comments, um, of course, suggestions for future videos. If you want me to go deeper in those features and explain what they do, uh, I'm pretty happy to do so. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on the like button, consider subscribing, hit the bell to get notifications. Of course, another way to help the channel other than buying some stuff in the description, is to play many videos and share those videos. It's always a great help.